Long ago, Ben Graham taught me that price is what you pay. Value is what you get, whether we're talking about socks or stocks. I like buying quality merchandise when it is marked down. Warren Buffett Letter to Shareholders, 2008. In this video, we would talk about 8 money-saving tips from Warren Buffett and I assure that if you stay till the end of this video, your saving would never be the same again. Hello, and welcome to another video. If personal finance, financial freedom, saving and investing is your thing, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon to get notified on any uploads on this channel. Now, let's get into it. According to the Forbes 400 list, Warren Buffett's net worth is $108 billion plus in mid-2020, one making him the sixth wealthiest person in the world. He is regarded as one of the most successful investors of all time. He founded and runs the Berkshire Hathaway Company, which owns over 60 businesses, including Dairy Queen, GaiQ, and Duracell Batteries. Buffett's father was a congressman, and he began investing at the age of 11. Warren Buffett is approaching his 90th birthday and remains active and vital. Despite his unique background, Warren Buffett's money-saving advice can help those who want to live a life free of financial worries. Warren Buffett saves money even though he doesn't have to. In fact, Warren Buffett's enormous net worth conceals a number of simple money, saving habits. Uh, he uses a flip phone. Uh, he eats breakfast at McDonald's. Uh, he drives a modest car. Warren Buffett has straightforward, self-sufficient tastes. Warren Buffett, known for living below his means and generously sharing his wisdom, has inspired legions of investors with his knowledge and investment style. Warren Buffett's money rules are widely known due to his writings and interviews are Warren Buffettly known due to his writings and interviews. His frugal living generosity and brilliant investing are all inspiring. Today's wealth, builders can learn a lot from the fact that Buffett still lives in the home he bought for $30, $1,500 in Omaha, Nebraska, decades ago. 8. Invest in Yourself Warren Buffett frequently tells the story of how he was terrified of public speaking as a young man. Before speaking in front of others, he would become nauseous and panicked. To overcome his fear, he paid $100 for a Dale Carnegie public speaking course, which he considers to be one of his best investments. In fact, he summoned the courage to propose to his wife halfway through the course. Investing in yourself can mean a variety of things. Spend the time, money, and effort to obtain a certificate or degree if you can advance in your job through education. Spend the money if attending a conference will result in more contacts and clients. Saving is only important when those savings are used wisely. Sometimes that means spending your savings on yourself so that your efforts, like your investment dollars, compound by increasing your income. Warren Buffett Inspired Action Steps I save money by determining where to cut corners and where to splurge. I begin putting a portion of your income into an investment account. I keep track of your income and expenses and develop a spending plan. 7. Live a simple life and go above and beyond paycheck to paycheck. Why do you feel the need to live above your means if Warren Buffett can live in the same modest home for decades? We live in a condominium in a middle-class neighborhood in Northern California, in the midst of a large housing development. I'm astounded by the apartment dwellers in the next building driving them using Cadillacs when that monthly payment could be used to purchase a home and build long-term equity and wealth. There are ways to spend less and reduce your wants regardless of your income. Desiring a simple life is the simplest way to live within your means. When you lower the bar to your lifestyle, you can get off the keeping up with the Jones rat race and live for you. Live within your means and make regular contributions to an investment account. Even if you do not become as wealthy as Warren Buffett, you will be much richer than if you spent all of your earnings. 6. Warren Buffett's Investing Strategies for Saving Money Warren Buffett advocates a straightforward investment strategy. Purchase and hold an S&P 500 index fund for the long term. In fact, Buffett instructed his attorney to do just that with the inheritance he's leaving to his wife. If you start investing $10,000 per year when you're 25, you'll have $732,000 by the time you're 50. A seven annualized return is assumed. This is not as difficult as it appears. If you work for an employer who contributes to your 401, you can invest $500 and if your employer contributes 330, 
$3 per month, you'll have met your $10,000 annual investment goal. With compound interest, the money that you earn is added to the existing amount and grows exponentially. 5. Think long term. The Stanford Marshmallow Test by psychologist Walter Mischel, PhD, demonstrated how children who delayed gratification became more successful. Mischel and his colleagues presented a preschooler with a plate of marshmallows. The child was then told that the researcher had to leave the room for a few minutes, but not before giving the child a simple choice. If the child waited until the researcher returned, she could have two marshmallows. If the child simply couldn't wait, she could ring a bell and the researcher would come back immediately, but she would only be allowed one marshmallow. Alpa, come. When these same children grew older, their self-control remained and they were more likely to score higher on the college entrance SAT test, were better able to handle stress and concentrate without becoming distracted. The self-discipline the children illustrated in the marshmallow test is akin to the patience and ability to delay gratification that Warren Buffett demonstrates through his lifestyle and investing practice. He's known to say that the appropriate time length for holding an investment is forever. For many, it's easy to become consumed with the day-to-day, -to today -day concerns. Yet, if you avoid saving and planning for the future, you're likely to have a stressful retirement. Money-saving tips from Warren Buffett reminds us that money doesn't grow overnight but takes a long time to build up. Waiting to spend money along with waiting for investments to grow will yield great outcomes. In fact, investing over long periods of time allows your investments to compound exponentially. Be patient and understand that the magic of compounding takes time. Invest for the long term. Start investing a small amount every pay period and over the long term, the money will grow exponentially. Four, use debt wisely and limit your borrowing. I've seen more people fail as a result of liquor and leverage. Leverage being borrow money. In this world, you don't need much leverage. You can make a lot of money without borrowing if you're smart. Buffett says, you may need to borrow money when purchasing a home or a car. Understand that having too much debt limits your ability to save money and become financially wealthy. Every dollar spent on interest payments is a dollar not invested in growing your wealth. Just like money invested compounds and grows for the future. Borrowed money compounds and increases the initial price paid for an item. Buffett doesn't hate debt, but recommends using it wisely. I've seen more people fail because of liquor and leverage. Leverage being borrowed money. You really don't need leverage in this world much. If you're smart, you're going to make a lot of money without borrowing, Buffett says. Although the quote is about borrowing money to invest, the principle applies to any type of debt. If you pay 18% interest on your credit card debt and earn 9% on your stock market investment, you are actually losing 9%. Make a plan to eliminate credit card debt as soon as possible in order to move toward wealth and prosperity. 3. Put money aside for the unexpected. Warren Buffett keeps billions of dollars on hand in case of emergency. Among Warren Buffett's money advice is to keep an emergency fund. If an outstanding investment opportunity arises, he has the funds to take advantage of it. Having extra cash on hand means that if the stock market falls, we'll be able to buy good stocks at a discount. Then there are the daily financial surprises. Emergencies occur. To everyone, we recently had a minor fender bender. This cost us $1,000 for the auto insurance deductible and our premium increased by a few hundred dollars. If you don't have enough emergency savings, when an unexpected bill comes up, you may be forced to incur credit card debt to cover the expense. If you pay $1,000 to repair your car but don't pay the bill right away, this is how much you'll owe the credit card company. If you charge $1,000 on your credit card and pay 2% of the remaining balance, $20 the first month, it will take you 150, one month to repay the $1,000. Charges will total $2,397 at the end of 151 months or over 12 years for an additional $1,397 in interest charges on top of the original $1,000. If you pay the minimum, you will more than double the initial charge. Join Warren Buffett in stockpiling cash for the unexpected. 2. Spend no more than you earn. If you were in Buffett's shoes, you might imagine living an extravagant lifestyle. Despite this, the billionaire has simple tastes. 
there's a lot to be learned from wanting less. He's known for preferring Coke and McDonald's hamburgers over a $100 meal. I'm not interested in cars, and my goal is not to make people envious, says a man who can afford anything. Do not confuse cost of living with standard of living, Buffett advises. He advocates living within your means and income. Before you spend, think, wait, and evaluate. Consider whether the $95 pair of shoes or new headphones you want today are worth sacrificing $950 in retirement. Here's how investing rather than spending works. I.E. put $95 into a diversified stock market index mutual fund, such as Vanguard's S&P 500, Finks, or VU. Assume a 9% annualized rate of return. I have put off retirement for 27 years. The investment will be worth around $950. That is the power of compounding. You are sacrificing your tomorrow every time you spend money on something that does not provide a return. A simple rule of thumb is to multiply your expenditure by 10. That is an estimate of how much money you could have in retirement if you invested instead of spent it. Is it worth it to spend $100 on dinner if you could save $1,000 in retirement? 1. Make use of the savings power. Don't save what is left after spending. Spend what is left after saving, says Buffet. Don't save what is left after spending. Spend what is left after saving, says Buffet. If you want to become wealthy, you must set aside a portion of your current earnings for the future. You eliminate the problem of not having enough money to save at the end of the month by saving first. You also avoid having to budget, which is one of the most disliked financial activities. Invest a portion of your salary in a 401k and a Roth IRA to implement the buffet approach to saving. This not only ensures that you will save for the future, but also that you will not spend all of your income. Then, put another portion of your earnings into a short-term cash account such as a savings account designated for emergencies. Save another portion in an investment account, such as Schwab or a robo-advisor, such as Mun Finance or Betterment, for medium-term goals such as a new car, vacation, or college. Your financial future is secure if you set up automatic deposits into these accounts. Spend what's left and you'll be on the right track to building wealth for the future.